So we just left Exeter in uh, Devon and we left Exeter and we are now heading to one of the furthest south towns in the UK. We're going to Falmouth. Look at the rolling hills everywhere. It's absolutely beautiful, especially when they get them right beside us. That is just gorgeous. We're just passing through an area called Bodmin Moor. It's near here. The Hound of the Baskervilles story was written about. Sherlock Holmes. Can't believe how green and lush jolly old England is. Wow. Everywhere is lush green vegetation. So beautiful. You know you're in England when you see a double decker bus heading down the road. Palm trees, they're everywhere. <laughs> Gorgeous. So old it's almost gothic looking <laughs> we are almost there we have 27 minutes to go at the roundabout well we're almost there and it just started to downpour just in time for us to get out with our luggage and bags and head to the room in 2.8 kilometers so I grabbed my camera because it was looking absolutely beautiful back there I mean this still is but it's not as picturesque as we just went through but it's still gorgeous there we are, we are in Falmouth, Cornwall. Two hour journey through some beautiful countryside. And it's raining like a bugger. There's more palm trees, ignore the McDonald's, they seem to be everywhere, and Starbucks. In one kilometer. Okay, we just arrived in Falmouth. We just walked, we had to walk to our apartment and we just got in here and the heavens opened. Look at the rain. Thunder, lightning, rain, but look at the view from our apartment overlooking the harbor. If it was sunny, that would be spectacular. It still is. We don't mind the rain really. Good old British weather. Okay, we've been waiting uh, one and a half hours in the apartment so we can start exploring the town but it's getting even heavier so we're not going to go out in this i said we don't mind the rain but i don't want to get soaking wet within the first one minute of walking so we're just going to wait for it to slow down and it's 7 pm and the rain has stopped now we can see what the harbour really looks like. Much nicer. This is the parking lot where we have to park the vehicle. And our flat, let me see, yes, is up there. Those windows up there is where we're staying. Look in this beautiful harbour. There's a grape inn, there's a pub quite close by. So we're gonna go for lunch to the historic ferry boat inn near Falmouth. And apparently Brian May, one of the band members from the 80s band Queen, uh, lives here and spends Quite a few days in the uh, visiting the pub, so that'd be cool if Brian May's in there when we get there. You got to walk down this big hill, which is a big, steep one. It's okay going down, but we've got to come back up after lunch. I don't know if you can see the steepness on the video. Is it steep, Rhonda? Brutal. <laughs> Nice pretty harbour over there, little bay. Well, we made it all the way down the hill and that is my reward. This is a pint of Ferryboat Inn Ale. They've got their own ale. 
I run and go to wine. And for the food, we are going to order, I think. We haven't had fish and chips yet, so we're going to order fish and chips. Comes with beer battered haddock, chunky chips, and mushy peas. Yeah, we'll try that, Rondo. What do you think? Yeah, it looks amazing. Looks cool. really good. Anyway, I'm going to take you for a tour around the pub outside, show you what it's like. It's quite spectacular. What a beautiful location. Okay, now to try the Ferryboat in Ale. So it's like. Smooth, tasty, not cold. too cold, not too cold because it's British ale and it's cellar temperature, which is not cold, not by North American standards, but beautiful, really good flavor. So the food's arrived, Rhonda's sampling it already. You got a, a chunky chip. So, so good. Amazing. And here it is. Look at those mushy peas. Okay, let's look at this fish. Let's break it open. See what it's like in here. Oh, look at that steamy white fish. It smells delicious, Rhonda. Yum. Mushy peas. Let's give these a try. Mm. I bloody love mushy peas. They're awesome. That was an awesome pub to go in. Fish and chips and a couple of pints and then a steep hill back. Oh, let's go. Mm. 